Zucchini. I prayed for odd marks just last spring, and now I'm on Zucchini. Zucchini, Zucchini, from odd mark to Zucchini. I prayed for odd marks just last spring, and now I'm on Zucchini. I knew there were a lot of things to thank the Lord for making, but how was I? From Z to A and everything between E. I got to Yodel yesterday and now I'm on Zucchini. Oh yeah. Island. If I were on a desert island, stranded as can be. I wouldn't mind to stay a while Cause you'd be there with me Cause you'd be there with me If I were on a desert isle And no one else was there I'd have the time to start each day With a three hour prayer A three hour prayer If I were on a desert island Living in a hut I'd pray each day to thank you God For making coconuts For making coconuts if I were on a desert isle, I'd know just what I'd do. I'd put my prayer inside a bottle and send it off to you. And send it off to you. Dear God, you won't desert me, and that sure makes me smile. At school, at home, or even alone. On a desert isle. On a desert isle. On a desert isle. Do you have a special place to go when you want to be all alone? In my room and downstairs. My room. In my room. In my room. Under my bed. I just go and find somewhere to hide. Remember that even when you're all by yourself, Jesus is watching over you. I think. Dear God, I think that flowers stink. I think that water's dry. I think a rock can jump and talk. I think that pigs can fly. I think that birds should not be heard. I think that grass is pink. I think my dad and mom are glad things aren't the way I think. I think that poem was silly. Thank God for silly things. Ice. Dear God, when I grow up a bit, I want to be an Inuit, a native from the icy north, and live in an igloo, of course. I'd enter the Iditarod and ride behind my team of dogs, and when I crossed the finish line, an ice cream prize would all be mine. I'd ice fish with a polar bear While icicles hung from my hair Then sail an iceberg home again To thank you for what I pretend What do you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut A movie star A ballerina Maybe an archaeologist, maybe a marine biologist A T-Rex Mom. Ask for God's blessings in everything you decide to do. Poison Ivy. Dear God, I tried to thank you for each thing you made for me, but I've got this itchy feeling I forgot something, you see. It irritates me when I forget to thank you when I should, since everything you made for me is very, very good. I don't want to sound rash, but it gets under my skin when people do not thank you for the things you made for them. I've scratched my head about it, but it, it's only getting worse. I hope that I remember soon. I feel so bad it hurts. Dear God, I just remembered what the thing was I forgot. You created poison ivy, God. So really, thanks a lot. Can you think of anything God made that you don't like? Being sick. Bees and wasps. Sharks. Spinach. Thank God for all of creation, <laughs> even poison ivy. Instruments. 
I'm gonna make me an instrument to play a happy tune on. I'll need all kinds of tubes and twine and something to bang a spoon on. I'm gonna make me an instrument to play a song for you with. I'll need a funnel before I'm done and something to toodaloo with. I'm gonna make me an instrument with pots and pans for banging. Some metal plates would sure sound great for clinking, clunking, clanging. I'm gonna make me an instrument with strings just made for strumming. I bet you'd like the horn from my bike and giant booming drumming. I'm gonna make me an instrument and play it for God for weeks. But mom is praying that God makes me an instrument of peace. Do you play a musical instrument? A tambourine. Drums, uh, walkers, and um, violins. A flute. I play the piano. A nose flute. Play or sing a song for God today. The letter I. I, 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 I thank the Lord for letter I. It is the best, and this is why. It makes the coolest sound, the greatest sound around. No matter if it's up or down, the I sound is the best in town. How do you say the letter I? How do you say the letter I? In island and in ice, the I sounds really nice. In ivory and ivy twine, the letter I is mighty fine. And there's another way to say the I. Another way to say the I. In itch and in igloo, and in invention too. And if you're saying in or it, the I sound is the sound of it. That's how you say the letter I. 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 What words start with the letter I? Ice cream. Iguana. Icicle. Igloo ice. Mmm. I. Thank God for making everything that starts with I. Infinity. How big is infinity? I want to know, so I'll count to infinity. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm at eleven. Is that near infinity? Really? It's not? Just how much farther do you think that I've got? It's more than a thousand? It's more than a million? It's more than a Google times 17 jillion? On second thought, maybe this counting is silly, because who could count up to infinity, really? It would take me forever and ever, and then it would still take forever all over again. Only you, God, could do it. So start right this minute and tell me when you've counted up to infinity. <laughs> What's the highest number you can think of? 60. 100. 150. 1,000. 2,554. A million and ten. God's love will last that many years and more. On to infinity. People in the Bible. Isaac was Abraham's son. Ishmael was the other one. Issachar was one of twelve of the tribes of Israel. Old Isaiah saw a sign God would send a child divine Who's that babe I'm glad to tell Jesus our Emmanuel These are the I words that I know For the Bible tells me so Does your name start with the letter I? How about your friends? Do you know anyone whose name begins with I? Impossible. It is impossible. More than improbable, it's inconceivable, too. It must be inaccurate. 
incomprehensible, too incredible to be true. It's inconsistent and quite insurmountable, as illogical as can be. But I'm not imagining, it's just incredible. Jesus is living in me. Is there anything God can do that you can't do? Build a world that has living people on it. He can make more planets. Lift up the world. Answer all those prayers at one time. With God, nothing is impossible. Thank God for making all things possible. Welcome to another interestingly informative episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Hello, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. I'm a Giuseppe Zucchini, and this is my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make for you a special treat from my home country of Italy. In my humble opinion, it is the finest thing to have ever come out of Italy. Really, Giuseppe? You flatter me. Oh, I'm not talking about you, Gianni. You don't think I'm the finest thing to come out of Italy, Giuseppe? Not really, Gianni, no. So, if you're not speaking about me, Giuseppe, what are we talking about today? Well, today we are learning about the letter I. So I thought it would be a perfect day to make that incredibly delicious dessert, Italian ice. Italian ice? Oh, Giuseppe, I love Italian ice. So, how do you make Italian ice, Giuseppe? It's very simple, really. Here are the ingredients. Oh, ingredients starts with I, too. Right, Giuseppe? Oh, very good indeed, Gianni. Ingredients do start with I. And here are the ingredients you'll need. We'll take the juice of four lemons, the cup of sugar, some water, and ice cubes, and blend them together in a blender. You can even add some unflavored gelatin for a real treat. Oh, yes. Do it, Giuseppe. Do it. Okay, Gianni. For you, I will. <laughs> oh, just the thought of this yummy Italian ice has me in such a good mood. Me too, Giuseppe. There. All the ingredients are blended together. Can we eat it now? Oh, no, Gianni. First, we must pour the mixture into individual serving cups. Individual cups, which also start with I. Right again, Gianni. And now we can eat, right, Giuseppe? Oh, no, 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 Gianni. Italian ice must be frozen. Frozen? Yes, we must now put the cups into the ice box for three hours. And then, when the mix is nice and frozen, voila, Italian ice. Three hours? Yes, three hours, Gianni. Three hours? Yes, Gianni, and then we'll be able to have our wonderful icy treat. But I'm a hungry now, Giuseppe. Oh, Gianni, you're so silly. Oh, you know, Gianni, there are lots of things we can do while we wait for the Italian ice. I'm a thinking of one right now, Giuseppe. Gianni, we have to pray for our food. What? Oh, right, right. Pray for our food. Let's all pray the ice prayer. Dear God, thank you for all I eat, especially the frozen treats like ice cream, popsicles, and ice. I think that they are very nice. Amen. Amen. So, interesting weather we're having lately. Yes, interesting. <laughs> and is, uh, is that the new shirt you're wearing? No, it is not new. Well, it, uh, it uh, really highlights your uh, eyes. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, any further your thoughts? Zucchini! Ah! That's all the time we have for today, folks! See you next time! This has been another insanely intense episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Tune in next time when Giuseppe says... I'm 37 inches tall, I couldn't be much smaller. 
Dear God, I'm glad you made me, but you could have made me taller. I can't go on the tilt-a-whirl when the carnival's in town. You have to be at least as high as the 42-inch clown. When I go to the movies, I have to sit in someone's lap. And I could ride in the front seat if I wore a 12-inch cap. I'm half as many inches as my daddy grew to be. We won't see eye to eye on things till I turn 23. But when my puppy ran away and crawled under the porch, the hero who inched after him was just my size, of course. So it's okay to be this big for getting in tight pinches. So thank you, God, for making me all 37 inches. Do you know how tall you are? Four and a half feet. How tall do you think you'll be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. A little taller than that. Jesus loves each one of us, no matter what shape or size we are. Iguanas in the ice box. There's an iguana in my ice box. I don't know how he got in. But he's eating all my popsicles and ice cream with a grin. There's an iguana in my ice box and he's keeping nice and cool. I think he's turned my ice cube tray into a swimming pool. An iguana in my ice box? Don't they prefer the heat? He played hockey with the frozen peas with ice skates on his feet. There's an iguana in my ice box where it's colder than a blizzard. I've not seen such a rational behavior in a lizard. God, I know it's quite impossible. It's really just too chilly. For iguanas in an ice box, the idea is simply silly. You knew just the way to make the world each creature in its spot. And my pet iguana, thankful that you made him somewhere hot. <laughs> Name an animal that lives somewhere hot. Um, camel. Armadillo. A lizard. Camels. Lion. Camel. A hot polar bear. Thank God for making a wonderful world for all those creatures. Everybody ready? I said, is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Well, if everybody's ready, now's your chance. Get up and do the odd mark dance. Today, let's dance like an inchworm. Well, you scrunch down low with your hands near your toe. Now you stretch out front the way an inchworm would. Then your legs inch up to meet your hands. Hey, you're doing the inchworm dance. Oh. It's an inchworm dance. It's an inchworm dance. It's an inchworm dance. It's an inchworm dance. Inch dance. Well, you took a chance and did the inchworm dance. We're done, so give yourself a hand. Now, inch on out of here, inchworm. <laughs> Imagination. Imagination's fun. I wonder if you can. Imagine I'm invincible, like a super duper superman. Imagination's great. It isn't hard to do. Imagine I'm invisible, and I'm sneaking up to shout out boo. Imagination's nice. It's easy if you try. 
Imagine I'm inflatable like a big balloon up in the sky. Imagination's good, but God is real, you see. I can't imagine anything that is better than God's love for me. Have you ever pretended to be someone or something else? What did you pretend to be? A butterfly, a football player, a robot, dragon, princess, and knight. God? Wow, God gave you a great imagination. I animals. Thank you, God, for ibises. Thank you, God, for ibises. And also for iguana. And also for iguana. Thank you for the ibex. Thank you for the ibex. Especially impala. Especially impala. Thank you, God, for injury. Thank you, God, for injury. And ivory build woodpeckers. And ivory build woodpeckers. God made all these animals. God made all these animals. I think that's quite impressive. Pray today for animals that start with I. A good night prayer. It's time to close your eyes and dream of blocks of ice all sculpted in the image of iguanas biting pies. Good night, good night. May angels in their flight Watch over you the whole night through Until the morning light Good night Goodbye, everybody. Sleep tight, and don't forget to say your prayers. Nighty-night. <laughs>